What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W and today we're going to go over a Red Day recap. Well guys, today the um, the gap scanner was was on fire. Let me get that over here real quick for you. We had a lot of gappers, a lot of action in pre-market. And uh, I'm gonna show you this gap scanner right now. As I do that, do me a quick favor, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you have, thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated. Sadly, today is a red day for me. And as you can tell, I'm not too happy about it. I hate red days. I think everybody does, obviously, but I don't know. We're gonna go over that. ASLM was our leading gapper today. It was up real nice. Uh, it was up there in like $7 land, which was amazing uh, to see. Seeing as it had closed, I think like at what, three bucks and change uh, on Friday? We, Friday we had a half day. Let me see here. Friday, let's look at this daily. Yeah, this thing is wild. Yeah, Friday it had closed up here at three dollars and change. And today in pre market, it was up over seven dollars. And we hit a high of eight dollars and change today at the open so pretty wild stock now that was the leading gapper then we had aktx making some noise bimi as well um and we had hepa hepa making some you know uh holding holding some good areas in pre-market so there was a lot to uh to talk about these are the trade idea scanners as you know link for discount 15 percent off with the coupon code in the description section below um, but I'm sitting here on a red day and not happy at all. I lost about 400 bucks today and it's my biggest loss in a little while now. Uh, like if you've seen me do some 300, some $200 days, then you've seen me had some nice two, three, four, five, six hundred thousand dollar green days. Uh, but I don't know, psychologically having, you know, losing $400 in the day is it messes with you you know it messes with me because i'm not a rich guy i'm not rich you know i'm i'm frugal uh and that's why i'm get i get to invest money uh in in things like you know properties stock market i get to trade um we don't have debt you know we don't have debt outside of our house uh and and well investment property but when i say we don't have debt is that we don't have two three four five six ten twenty thirty thousand dollars in credit card debt plus thirty thousand dollars in in car loans we don't have that nice cars you can see it in my instagram but we don't have that consumer debt so because of that i'm able to do these things but at the same time losing four hundred dollars in a single day you know that that hurts not financially honestly but it hurts psychologically uh it messes with your confidence it really does, uh, at least for you know a trader like me. Well, if I lose four hundred dollars in a day, it's kind of hard because it's not gonna like tomorrow. I'm not gonna have an eight hundred dollar day more more than likely, especially with these market conditions. So it's not like I'm gonna just tomorrow come back and easily make it up because my average green days are two three hundred dollar days, right? Which are nice, they're respectable days, um, very respectable days. But losing four hundred bucks in a day, it really does mess with your mind. Uh, and I lost on BIMI couple hundred dollars there and then i lost on asln a couple hundred dollars there and i mean looking at the chart i mean there's nothing i could have done differently here on bimi we had this real nice red to green move which was really nice i mean this thing went from three bucks all the way up here to four fifties but i didn't trade that because it wasn't I've been trying to trade after 9.45 because that's where I've been. That's been my sweet spot, especially 10 a.m. So I, I just sat there and waited. I said, you know what? This is fine because it, it'll push up. It'll pull in and it'll it'll give me an opportunity uh, on the pull in versus buying it down, you know, down here so early, so close to the open. So that's what I did. I waited and waited and waited and I watched it come back all the way down here, hold this previous high area, which is the 3.30s and this 9 a.m. And when we bounced off of that, I got long here, okay? I got long here around 350, 1,000 shares. And then I got stopped out here in the 320s as we broke down underneath the pattern. So that was it, $200 gone, gone. And then all it does is just bounce right back up here, test VWAP again, bounce back down. 
if it breaks over VWAP, I mean, we could see this thing back up at four dollars, four dollars and change, and that's what I thought we were gonna get here. You know, with a thousand shares, I was risking two hundred bucks for the shot at making, oh my God, five, six, seven hundred dollars easily, um, but it didn't work out. It just didn't pan out, and I understand that they're not always gonna pan out. We all know this, and I know my accuracy. It's not the greatest, uh, but my entries and exits are extremely well. You know, they do really good in my risk reward, like risking 200 bucks here to make five, six, seven hundred dollars, which was easily, according to this chart, if we got the squeeze, the risk reward is there, right? But there's only so many $200 losses you can take before psychologically you're like, well, damn, I'm gonna have to decrease my size because I can handle $100 losses like nothing, like I don't care. It doesn't phase me psychologically. So that was BIMI. I didn't, I don't have that one recorded live, but I do have. ASLN recorded live here for you and ASLN ASLN was the definition of why I don't chase this thing opened up and dipped down hit this 650 area what right under a 630 area actually and this is these are three minute candles so we're talking about here uh, 933 936 it went all the way up to eight dollars all right, 817, 818 actually, and got halted right there on a circuit breaker halt. Very big, nice increase in volume on that push, okay, from 630s to 818. That's massive. If you got long here thinking about a double bottom like I do, uh, only I try to do that later, you would have banked. And that's what I thought, you know, we, the kind of move I thought we could have gotten on BIMI, uh, not to $8, but within its own chart pattern. Well, it opened up even and just got demolished demolished i can imagine people who are like oh we're gonna halt and we're gonna gap up to nine bucks and we're gonna go to the moon and it's gonna go to ten dollars and halt again i can imagine people thinking that right so i can imagine people buying right on into that halt and going big you know thousand two three four five maybe even ten thousand shares depending on the person's uh risk tolerance account size etc and then to have this nasty candle go from 818 all the way back down here to 630 again, that's disgusting. That is really bad. Well, where's my play? My play was very simple. This is the halt price right here you see, okay? That's the halt price. I'm looking for that to hold when we pulled it back in here. So I got long in this area and I'm looking for this area to continue holding. See, it held here, held here, held here, held here held here held here so i'm thinking you know the longer this halt, this halt area holds the more nervous the shorts are going to get and the bigger move we're probably going to get out of this we can see this thing can make huge moves when shorts start to cover so i thought this is a very low risk i'm risking 20 cents right around 20 cents for the shot at making god a dollar easily a dollar fifty very easily my plan was very simple uh, a thousand shares i was gonna sell 250 shares here at seven bucks i was gonna give me like like 50 cents okay then i was gonna sell another 100 shares i'm sorry another 100 then i was gonna sell 500 shares up here at eight dollars for a dollar fifty win okay and i was gonna have 250 shares left that i was gonna hold to see if we can squeeze up to nine ten dollars that was the plan monster win if it would have happened but it doesn't. There we go. I'm in there a thousand shares. Once we hold that halt price again, I, I had 500 shares. I add another 500 thinking, okay, we're holding it. This is going to go. And it does not. You know, we're making higher lows on this candle here because we're coming. It's the pattern. VWAP uh, touch comes back down and starts to creep up a little bit uh, we got a little bit of a rejection there and then we make a higher low like, okay we're making a higher low and we're holding this halt price area i'm in at 648 my risk is 630 so about 20 cents because you know there's going to be a little slippage there i got out at 628 This candle right here, when this candle right here opened up there, 
I knew it. I felt it. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to stick to the plan. Because it's happened to me before where that candle just... I exit and it just squeezes right on up to eight bucks, you know? So I'm like, all right. I'll stick to the plan. And there I get stopped out. That's it. Another 200 bucks gone. $400. Red day today. Not happy at all. Let me know how you did. Drop it in the comment section below. Remember to smash the like button for me. Give me some credit. I'm showing you the good and the bad. And I'll catch you on the next one.